Hi guys, so I'm Jordan and welcome to my channel. First video, here we go. <laughs> um, so basically, I've started this channel to showcase my adventure to Indonesia this summer, which is actually two weeks today, which is really scary. I can't believe it's come around this quickly. So I'm going to Indonesia to a little place called Hoga, which is a stunning place. And I'm going for six weeks to conduct my third year project, which is titled the effects of benthic composition on fish biodiversity on coral reef patches. Gosh, I couldn't, shouldn't forget that. But, <laughs> so, I really just wanted to show everyone like everything that I'm doing for this trip. So my preparation, I really want to show my travel because I think that's going to be an entertaining time. Might be full of tears. But we'll see. And then I just want to show you the whole of my trip while I'm out there. What I'm doing for my research. What types of techniques I'm going to be doing to survey and all this and that. And I really can't wait to show everyone like how amazing it's going to be. I hope. Fingers crossed. But so I'm going with this organisation called Operation Wallacea and they're just an incredible organization they're based all around the world like peru croatia mexico like madagascar everywhere and you can do so much with them like you can just go and be a research assistant for two weeks in some way incredible and just get the most amazing experience out of it so they basically um, go around the world and do really important research which really helps the world and species and everything um, just to show us like what we're possibly doing to the earth so for example like when I'm going to research coral reefs they'll do health checks on them all the time to show how how they're regrowing or re-stabilizing or you know, just trying to help the reefs grow back to where they should be because we have knocked them down quite a lot. But anyway, less of that. But yeah, so I just hope you enjoy the videos that are to come. Um, obviously, I'll start off with how I'm preparing for it. Exciting. Um, anyway, so yeah, I hope you enjoy. So I guess I'll get started on my preparation and let you know what I've had to do so far, what I need to do. So, um, I kind of think it's a very long process for sure. So like I have um, already submitted my proposal for my project or like dissertation, if you can't the same thing. Um, so that had to be sent off a while ago, I've had to go get signed off by a doctor to say that I can do my paddy scuba diving qualification and all this and that. So it's been quite a few <laughs> months that have been quite stressful, but you know it's all coming together now so it's really getting exciting, nerve wracking but exciting. <laughs> um, so yeah, I need to go shopping tomorrow so I need to get a few bits and bobs I also need to get anti-malaria tablets which are expensive really expensive it's ridiculous but I would rather be safe than sorry and um, so yeah I just wanted to show you all what I need to get and what I've already got so I have a handy little kit list supplied by Operation Wallacea which is really nice of them um, it's very long, but I don't know how they expect someone who's like five foot three to carry all this, but we'll try, we'll try. Um, oh, my cat's making an appearance. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, they expect me to carry two rucksacks, one being a minimum of 50 litres and another to be a minimum of 20 to 30 litres. That's going to be heavy, <laughs> but it'll be okay. So yeah, I thought I'd just give you a little show of what I've got so far. 
So yeah, here we go. So I think my shopping trip yesterday was really successful. I feel like I've got everything I need now. Um, I've still got a few bits that are due to come this week, but I feel like it's going good and I'm a bit less stressed about going. But I just thought I'd show you all everything that I'm taking, just all the safety precautions that I need and yeah, everything. <laughs> So, um, this is my new baby. It doesn't look very big now, but once it's full, it's like a 71 litre bag, which is going to be very heavy. I then got a matching rucksack, which is about 29 litres, if I'm being specific. Um, but my colour coordination is going well. So then we got my flippers for scuba diving, my snorkel, oh my god, my mask, my water booties which are pretty cute and then we've got a microfiber towel which is fast drying so i don't have to wait around for it to dry all the time so then we got my diver's logbook so that's everything i need for doing my qualification some mosquito bands and then operation yc has sent me this adorable little tag for my luggage which is really nice and then we've got my gopro which hopefully got an underwater case and harness so then i can take really sick videos for you all while i'm away so then got all of my like necessities in health really so we've got like anti-allergens um all of my like uh hair care body wash all of my deodorant um sunscreen had to be bio friendly biodegradable <laughs> getting that wrong and then this had to be coral friendly as well so then we've got a head torch which is essential and a first aid kit and then i got a sleeping bag liner for those nights i also got my malaria tablets which are malarone um so yeah i had to stock up on those which wasn't very cheap then I've got a few bits that are like energy, um, energy, what's the word? Just energy boosting bits and bobs, which will help me get through the six weeks. And then some rehydration sachets. As you can see, I've got a plentiful supply. Then got um, bits of clothes. So I had to take like three or four t-shirts, long sleeve, short sleeve. Um, a really thin jacket um, and then a nice fleece and then like leggings, some shorts and some vests. So yeah, it's pretty much everything I need. So and I've got some bits on order like my dive watch and a slate for going under the water and writing. And yeah, I feel like that is pretty much everything covered i hope you've enjoyed the first video um i'm off to portugal tuesday morning for a module at uni doing mediterranean sampling so um yeah that's a bit stressful because <laughs> i literally have two days before i go to indonesia when i come back from portugal but that's okay i'm gonna cope somehow but yeah um I might do a video out in Portugal that let you know what I'm doing out there. Um, but maybe I'll see you the two days before I go. So, yeah. Bye.